Hey, what's going on guys? This is X25 and welcome back to some more Scrammy Cake. And today, we are back with a brand new update. I know it's been a while since we played this game, but there is a challenge mode game mode that thing that we have in Scrammy Cake now. And uh, supposedly, this is supposed to hold people off until survival mode comes out, which rumor has it that it's supposed to come out sometime next year. Now, there are currently... 40 challenges are already in the game. I have done... Oh, I've completed three of them. I've unlocked four. Yeah, so... I kind of expect... I kind of want to expect here. Because I had... I tried to record this previously, but then I failed at it. But anyways, we are going to start with level one. Now, I do know... I did know a couple about... A couple of things about this before. Because I did watch some of my YouTubers cover this update as well. But it was during the beta testing phase. And now it's finally out on the game. But if you are enjoying Scarmic Kick on the channel. If you want to see more of this game. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyways. One thing to talk about. Um, if you seen a couple of videos in the past. I did a couple of them. I actually implemented an intro on them. But now... The recording software that I have that converts the videos to the MP4 file, so that way I can merge them with the intro and the editor, it will crash whenever I try and do that now. So yeah, I'm going to have to wait until I can get a new computer, so that way I can do intros again. Anyways, we are now in. Now this it looks kind of looks like a BattleBots arena. It kind of does, doesn't it? With all the cranes and all that. <laughs> And there's also other stuff behind us as well. Like, he went very, very, very well with this. There's a poster over here. This is behind, I'm guessing that's a trophy or something. I don't know what's supposed to go there. Over here is a chest where you get some parts. That's where, that shows you what kind of parts you have. And then, I think that shows you the outer layer of the, of the map. Why don't we see what it exactly does? Yeah, it does, I think. Yeah, it does. Alright, now the, the first level comes with the preset vehicle. It's very basic. An engine, a seat, a uh, four-wheel drive, and steering. So, we don't really need to do anything. And it's basically a straight line, too. So, let's start this. There's also a little bot over there that marks you, I guess. It marks your score. And see how well you did. Looks like it's very basic, and we got into the finish, no problem. Yeah, and then you got a little crowd cheering for you, and then with the, that little thing opens up. And then it shows you your time. We did under four minutes, so we're going to the next level. I'm not going for time here, so let's just move on to the next one. Now, this one, you actually need to repair it. So we're going to go over to the, the little chest here and get our parts. We have three wheels and a bearing. So, what we need to do in this case is that we need to repair the vehicle. So, let's just do that. And it looks like you actually have limited stuff in this mode. Now, the level... How the level layout is set up, it's basically the same thing as last time. Except that... Uh, there's a little hole in the middle of it. Okay, let's get one wheel on this. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of lag. And you actually need to hook up the bearings as well. Okay. Wait, I'm forgetting. What? Where's the connection tool? There it is. Okay. There's one. Here's a second one. I think I need to rotate, change that. Yep, I do. Okay, let's get it there. Then the last one is over here. You will eventually get to build your own creation. But right now, it's just like the tutorial levels. I'm going to try and do quite a few of these. And try and get to... I'll probably do like five or six of them. Because I feel like that's a good number to do. I'm not going to get all the challenges done in this episode, obviously. But if you do want me to complete all of them, let me know down in the comments below. And I will do more of these videos. And we will eventually complete all the challenges that we have to complete. Okay, level 2 complete. All, a lot of these levels are easy in the beginning, I'm noticing. And then it really starts to get harder and more complicated. 
All right. Third level. Looks like we actually need to hook up some bearings here with the connection tool. So what? When we do that? Hold on. I clicked down my window screen. Okay, we'll do that. Now I need to do that. I need to change the rotating direction. And then get the other two wheels. There you go. Okay, let's drive. And this one, you actually need to turn here. So now turning is essential. Okay, getting a little bit up on two wheels. I'm two wheeling it a little bit. Okay, just. And. Level three complete! Sweet! Alright, next level. Yeah, you fly through these levels very quickly if you know what you're doing. Looks like here we need to hook up an engine. So let's go to the chest and hook up an engine, shall we? Come on, chest. Yeah, there is an engine. We get one gas engine. And I know how to do this. Because this is like one of the basic things. This is like the basic car. Looks like we'll eventually get two engines. From the little picture up there. It's basically the same vehicle, except it's got two engines. I'm already going to tune this up. I'm going to use it the third power up. Okay. Whoops. I keep thinking that the connection tool is the last... The last, uh... Thing in my inventory bar I forgot to hook it up to a seat I forgot to hook up the engine to a seat I just did a noob move well, that's fine we're good now okay there we go let's go okay yeah, this one, there's an incline on it. Looks like that there's a jump. I thought that there was a jump at first when I first did this one, but no, it's just an incline that puts you back down. So, we are about to complete this. And there we go. We actually did that in five minutes. Not bad. Alright, next level. This is level five. I haven't seen any of the levels... Beyond this point, it looks like we get wood blocks this time. Let's see how the wait. What is this? Hold on, I need to look at the course layout for this one. Oh, okay. Looks like there's a little bit of a. Looks like looks like that this is one of the levels where it gets a little bit more complicated. We get 16 wood blocks. Okay. This is we get four bearings and two wheels. I guess we need to make the front half of the car. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, like, one half is already set up for you. So let's put it on the lift. Get the blocks. Um, sure. We'll do it like that. We'll do that. Okay, there we go. I think this is where we need some of the bearings. So we'll get that out of the way. And I keep re I keep thinking that the bearing connection tool is where I usually put it in my inventory when I build stuff in this game. There we go. I need my why do you have the weld tool with you? That's what I need to know. Why for other things that we probably don't need to do at this at this stage. Okay. And I keep thinking that's in the last slot. My inventory. Okay, there we go. There's one wheel. Whoa, okay, the game's freezing. Okay, we are out of bearings now. I think we're actually going to be under... The amount of blocks that they give us. I'm pretty sure it. I'm pretty sure the game wants you to add more blocks, but I'm not quite sure about that. There we go. Yeah, I think we are good. So let's get rid of the lift. Now let's check out this thing. Okay, we get a little bit of a drop off here. 
<gasps> okay, yeah, that's a very big drop off. <laughs> okay, we're fine though. We're fine. Woo okay. This thing doesn't have the best of steering. I actually think I made it better than the previous preset version of this vehicle. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a rubber branding here going on. No, 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 no. Come on, get over it. Get over it. Yeah, the steering is very is significantly improved. I think I just made the vehicle better. Wow. Okay, next level. We actually did it on 13 minutes, probably because of me getting stuck. That's my guess. Okay, level 6. Okay, this thing looks like a monster truck now or a rover of some kind. Okay, looks like we have an electric engine for this level. I'm curious to see what we're going to do in this one. Okay, we got an electric engine. Let's see what the layout looks like. I think we know I think I know why we need the electric engine. Yeah, because of that. I don't think we're going to be able to use a gas engine for that. Okay. Where can we put the electric engine? I think here. I think this is like a rover. Oh, I know where to... Okay, no, never mind. I, I was going to place it right in front of the seat, literally. And, excuse me why, press escape to... Yeah. Alright, I don't know how... Much we need to increase it by, so I'm going to do the same that I did with the gas engine. Okay, connection tool, where are you? I think we only need to do... The first wheels! And I just did a new move. Okay, do that. Just do that. Okay, connect that. Alright. Let's see how this works. I think this is what it wants you to do. I don't know for sure. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that slow. So we're going to kick it up by two. Whoops. I hit escape too much. Yeah, there we go. That's going to do it. Okay, a little bit of lag. Oh gosh. Okay. It clearly doesn't do well when it clearly uh doesn't like it when I steer. Oh come on, please make it up. Ah, guess that I'm guessing that's why there's four big wheels on the front. And level complete. Sweet. Alright, next level, level seven. Here we go. Oh, we actually need to build a vehicle this time. Okay, let's see what the layout of the course is like. Okay, it looks like we get big wheels and an electric mower. It looks like that's the essential parts. Okay, it. Okay, it's kind of like the last course. It has the same exact uh, kind of physics. Well, it has the same kind of obstacles, essentially. This might actually take a while, so this might be the last one we do. We get 50 wood blocks, we get 10 bearings. We get a seat. We get two electric motors. A button? I don't know what we need that for. What do we need a button for? Two normal wheels and then four big wheels. I'm guessing this is going to be kind of like the the previous uh the rover that we had in the previous level. So I'm going to try and replicate that the best I can. And I'm getting a little bit of drop in frame rate. I don't know why. Probably because this is like something new. Okay. We're just going to do that for a start. Okay. So we now have a seat. Which is basically what you always need for any kind of creation or car. Okay. We have a seat. Okay. Actually, I don't think we're going to need to... I think we need to do this. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do here. Whoops.
Okay, I need to get my the bigger wheels from my inventory. So let's do that. There we go. Okay, that's a huge wheel. I don't know, really know why you would paint stuff here. Maybe for colored sensors, I I think. I can actually see um, having Steam Workshop support for this. This would be perfect for Steam Workshop support stuff. For people to be very creative in their work. I need the connection tool for this one. I'm going to connect it to the engine, so now I don't need to do it later. Because I'll probably forget about it later. Alright, so I think we're going to need at least one more layer of blocks here. I don't know, I'll see if it's the right amount in a minute. Um, I, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell from this. I think we need to do it one more. Otherwise, the wheels are going to grind together, which is something that we don't want. Oh, you actually get the blocks back, too. That's something I forgot to mention. If you delete a block, you actually get back. Alright, I know that's the right length this time, so I'm just going to add the wheels now. <laughs> if only there would were, there were be lights. I think you might get those if you had to go through a tunnel. Whoops, I did not mean to put that there. I need a block there first, and then I can do the bearing. Okay. I still, I'm still clueless on what I need the R electric motor for. But I'm not going to worry about it now. Because... I need to... Wait a second. I think I'm actually going to do this under budget again. Well, under the normal amount of blocks I need. It's like, like, it seems too simple almost. It's weird. I feel like the game wants us to do something else because... Yeah, I feel like that it's going to want us to do something else because... We're going to, we're going to end up with two extra bearings here. Which means that... There's something else that the game wants us to do. Which is probably what the button's for. Let's get that on. There we go. Oh, that's actually too high. Not expecting that. Okay. So let's just, uh... We're going to need to do that. We're going to need to do that. We're going to need to do that. We need to do that. Do that. Pull on the steering. Like so. I might as well do this now. So I'm going to pull out my connection tool and connect the steering. All right. Oh, okay. Now we're using all the blocks. Now we're using all the blocks. Oh, and it actually, it actually turns red when you when you ran, when it tells you when you run out of blocks. I'm guessing that's the way of you of telling it. I feel like I forgot something. Hold on, let me bring out my connection tool just to make sure. Okay, yeah, all those wheels have bearings. I don't, I didn't want to go back and find out that not all of them had bearings on them. That would have been bad. Okay, I think that all the wheels on the are on the right plane. Yeah, they are. Okay, so now all we need to do is connect the front wheels to the main engine. Hold on, I need to uh, move my mouse again. Or else it's going to go off the screen. Okay. That's another one. That's another one. Alright, I think we're ready. Wait. 
I just did a new move. I forgot to remove it from the lift. Hold on. Um, I need to get to a... Yeah, I really feel like that it wants us to do something else besides just a basic vehicle. <laughs> of course, of course, I need to... Wait, turn it up. I need to turn it up, yeah. Yeah, that seems good. That seems good. Okay. Looks like I have opposite steering angles, but that's all right. It might be too long. I just now realized that. This thing looks a little bit too long for its own good. Oh, we might bottom out on some things. I just now realized that. We're actually making really good time. And I think I inverted my steering by accident. So if I hit... So if I turn, if I hit right, if I want to turn right, I go left. And if I want to go left, I go right. Okay, I think this is where we need to be careful. Huh. This seems too easy. I feel like we need to do something else. This seems way too easy. Okay, this might be when we bottom out. I don't know for sure, though. No, we don't. We're good. And there we go, into the finish. Please don't bottom out. Okay, good. Man. Yeah, there we go. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Scrum Mechanic. There's now a new challenge mode. If I do end up doing this again, I'm going to take a quick look at the other level. Oh, looks like you actually need to build a vehicle again. Looks like you have an essential part as a seat. Let's see what the actual level looks like. Oh, there's a jump. There is a jump. Yeah, we're definitely going to end it here. Um, if you do want me to complete all the challenge modes, challenge levels in this mode, let me know down in the comments below. If I hope you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.